And welcome back to Zoom TV. Ross, you missed the memo about the shirt, son. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Yeah, very nice. Eh? Over the years, we've had been very fortunate to have the great support of one of Australia's biggest car dealers, Mr John Hughes. And John Hughes has come up with this car for us today. It's the brand new Hyundai Veloster. This is a game changer in the car market. Why is that, Ross, do you think? It's fantastic. Well, it's a four-door minus one door. So it's a three-door. <laughs> it's a three-door. No door handle on the back here, a no. bit tricky, but around the other side, no door. So when you come home from the pub, get in the back seat, <laughs> which door? Who stole the door? <laughs> I love it. John Hughes, as we mentioned, has given us some weird and wonderful cars over the course of our series. A man who loves cars and the business of selling them with a passion. John Hughes, over to you. The John Hughes Group concentrates on quality motor cars in each of its specialist dealerships. John Hughes Ford, Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, Hyundai, Kia. They also deliver an enormous range of pre-owned vehicles, full servicing and finance departments. Well, that's the overview out the way, but there's another story here, and that's one of success. How do you become this successful? Well, it all comes down to one man, his passion and a lot of hard work. Fremantle-born John Hughes started in this business in 1969 with Paramotors. Within a few years, the company became the leading independent used car organisation in Western Australia with 14 outlets. Its company philosophy of being a friendly and efficient company, trading with integrity and determined to give his customers the very best of service has served him well. He now employs approximately 500 people and sells over 1,400 new and used vehicles every month with an annual turnover in excess of $450 million. So John, in the limited time we have, how did it all begin? Well Alan, I first started in business without any money at all. I had to go and borrow 120% of what I needed. I'd only got married and I just didn't have the money. The problem was that the builder hadn't built the yard by the time the first payment was due. And I nearly went broke before I started. Fortunately, I got a lease on a yard at Inglewood and together with another salesman, we sold 92 cars in our first month and that generated enough money to keep me going in Victoria Park. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. John is a firm believer that the most important lesson he can teach is that life will give back what you put in and that people who do business in the community have an obligation to put some of their profit back. He supports a number of worthy causes, including Princess Margaret Hospital through his annual John Hughes Big Walk. He's recognised for his totally committed approach to hands-on management and total quality customer service. Yeah, Nick, it's John Hughes. I've got your call this morning. And how did you come by your company philosophy, John? Well, a long time ago, Alan, I was looking for a company philosophy or mission statement. I don't like, didn't like any of those terms, but I, I gave up because they were all too long-winded and they weren't meaningful enough. And then one day I got a complaint letter from a customer about a couple of small incidents. And the final paragraph of the letter said, Mr Hughes, these incidents detract from the image of your company, which is that of a friendly and efficient company trading with integrity and determined to give its customers the best of service. There in the complaint letter from a customer was my company philosophy. All I did was add the word very in front of best, pasted it out, shouted to all my managers, said improve on this without adding one word. And they couldn't. That's it. Is John Hughes the real deal? Absolutely. If you're in the market for a newer used vehicle, people trust John Hughes. Where is it, Ross? Where's that door? Oh, I can't see. Can you find it? No door handle. Where is it? Maybe yeah. we use the on uh, no, that one. No, well, maybe we just leave. Oh, it. I don't think no, I don't no. What's that? Oh, well, how about that? Mystery solved. <laughs> Sensational. You may think that our presenters on the show are articulate, well-spoken and professional individuals. Well, the evidence left on the cutting room floor would suggest otherwise. We'll be having a look at some of those triumphs of television after the break here on Zoom TV.